What's new, laddie? Hello, Captain. It is lucky you were here, Tobias, or I wouldn't have known Azara was in trouble. I have not been in Hammerfell since the, uh... I know, lad, what you mean. Anyway, Stros Mackay has no one who could have reached me. Thank you. I sent the letter some weeks ago, Cyrus. I fear things have gotten worse for your sister since. How did you know where to reach me, Tobias? Our paths parted so long ago. I didn't send it to you directly. I knew that damn cat was probably still getting you into trouble, even to this day. Srathra seemed the likely solution, and through the channels I'd heard, he'd made Weirest his port of late. Now he's moved from the throne seekers of the old empire to the lesser lords of High Rock, still playing them to his benefit, breaking in the gold on all fronts. I thought that Septim had solidified the Britons. As much as the Witchmen will, but there is still a lot of money to be made in the drawing of borders before the provincial laws dry completely. Mercenaries are in great demand right now, as are fixers like our cat friend. Does he still stink so? To hear. I think I will go see him when I leave. It's been too long. How do you mean worse? What more do you know about Azara? Nothing more than my letter is described. That she is gone and no one knows where. Just a bad feeling that's grown worse with the weight. The governor has not been merciful with the crowns that survived the battle. I hear his dragon's belly is full of the overloud, and that many died later in the burning of the old quarter. What happened to the old quarter? The crowns fled ashore there after the battle. It was their last stand. The governor sent his dragon, and it was done. Was Azara there? That section of town is closed off. No one I've talked to knows if she was there or not. Where's the dragon now? It's disappeared too. Some say it has returned to the Imperial province. Others say the governor keeps it well paid and fed in the catacombs below the palace. Is there another way into the catacombs? There is the traditional way. Imagine that I laughed. Secret entrance, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Who in this town knew of Azara? I did not question many for fear of ill allegiance. So I went to the temple to ask of her. For the brothers of R.K. are neutral in mortal affairs. There, Brother Niddle told me that Azara had vanished and set me on the road of writing you. Also, Drikius here knew that she was missing too. What can you tell me about Azara? She frequented this establishment much before the battle in Hunting Bay. Less after, of course. Of course? She was a fervent one, your nestling, who hated the Empire not in hushed tones. After the occupation, she disappeared for a while. She disappeared three months ago. No, I'm talking about before that, right after the battle. Many crowns had scattered in the wake then, hiding where they could. I didn't see her for several days following. But then she showed up, needing a drink and rambling, tense on some decision. What then? The Imperials came and I let her out through the back. I haven't seen her since. So the priests are still safe from being conquered? Be that as it may, the temple is quite empty of priests, save for Brother Niddle. It seems some of their ranks have disappeared also. I'm noticing a theme. Where did you hear that? Niddle told me Brother Catral vanished around the same time as your sister, and that they knew each other. So I can count Brother Niddle as an ally then? On my word, he was most helpful, but he seemed to be holding something back. I wouldn't consider paranoia a bad character trait in Stros Mackay these days. Besides, you're so ugly. That was it. He may open up to you more, 
being as hard as brother and half as hard to look at. Tell me about the temple. The head priest, a brother Nidl, was very helpful in regards to Azara. He seemed to know her well, and shared my concern over her disappearance. He is worth an interview. I think I saw it across the plaza. What brought you to Stros Macau? War and the rumors of war. Every merchant that's near and seaworthy has come to Stros Mackay in the wake of recent events. Either in the service of the provisional governor or to fill the sea lines that Septim has shattered and that the crowns can run no more. I thought I might profit from a visit, but it has brought naught but sorrow and the sign of darker days. I fear I shall be leaving none too soon. You are leaving, Captain? When? And wherefore? At sunset, if all goes well, and as for where, whither I will. Stros Mackay is not for me. But I thought you might help me. The Imperials have been asking about yours truly around the docks lately. I fear my inquiries into Izara's disappearance have interested them in all the wrong ways. I will help you as I can through the course of this day, but after that I must be done with it. I'm too old for an Imperial prison. It won't come to that. You haven't been here long enough. My ship is ready to leave at sundown, but don't worry. I'll be here until then to help you along if you need it. A lot can transpire in a day. We will see each other again. Since when were you a merchant, Tobias? The fight left me after our little foray into Morrowind. It's been sweet commerce ever since. I've not returned to Morrowind since then. Who'd want to? All that ash and fire. Those dark elves can keep their curse. Don't forget the bugs. <laughs> Which reminds me, Governor Richton has a little sting of his own from those parts. His lieutenant is a dark elf. Watch out for that one. Always close by the governor, hiding in his shadow. Which means he's got plenty of room to maneuver. I'd welcome another chance at the Dark Elves. I've still got scars. Watch yourself. Is it safe to talk here? As safe as any, and the ale is good. Drikius can be trusted as much as any walking lizard can be. It might get a little rough with all the forebears around, but I'll be here until I leave Stros Mackay. The barkeep is a long way from Black Marsh, isn't he? That's right, and it's kept me good company in my wait for you. Trust it well after I leave, for it knows this island and all who live here. But don't bother asking about the eye, because I already have. Trichius knows of the eye of Argonia? It's got the skin for it, wouldn't you say? I'll find the thing yet, and before you, if I get my way. Another soft skin with dreams of the priceless king's jewel of ancient Black Marsh. Eh, you look this sort too, all sword and swagger. Tobias, he describes you well. Aye, but Cyrus here must save that adventure for another day. He's got a sister to find. I've told him that you will help him after I depart, Lizard. So mark me well. Whatever you say. Do you think Azara chose sides in the Civil War, and that is why she has disappeared? Your family has always been partisan, lad, since your early days in Sentinel. I ventured she still held her old allegiances, even if you haven't. Few crowns in Stros Mackay survived the battle with the Imperials, but I know Azara was one of them. How? Hearing of the defeat of the crowns caused me much concern. When I arrived, I searched for word of Azara's safety. The only ones here who knew of her said that she had disappeared shortly after the Imperials landed. I see the harbor is already arrayed in the flags of the Emperor, and that his men walk the streets as if born to them. Strosmakai is a dangerous port these days. 
There's an empire to be built, you know. And Tiber Septim shows no sign of slow in its increase from here to the edge of the world map. High Rock's border kings bent knee to the Cyrodiil long ago. Even my father's fair Skyrim is adorned with flags of red dragons and foreign men. We are entering a new era, I fear, with Septim's name writ long and wide upon it. Any kind words for our new emperor? He is good at what he does, and sees the holes lesser men leave wide. No offense to your Prince Ator, of course. Hammerfell's problems are her own. I was only asking if Septim was the tyrant they say. Of course he is. Tyranny means never having to say you're sorry. But Izara's fate has nothing to do with the Emperor, I'm sure. Look to the Provisional Governor if you suspect Imperial entanglements. He's the real tyrant around here. How long were you in Wayrest, Cyrus? Long enough to piss off the locals. A bay ride from Sentinel. Close enough for you to hear about Prince Ator, then. Yes, of late the criers are tripping over each other. There's so much to report of the blisteries out. And you've listened to it all, I'm sure. Fine, recount all word of Prince Ator that I have shamefully ignored. When his father died and the capital of Sentinel was taken over by the forebears, the prince fled back here to his ancestral home of Stros Mackay. After rallying the crowns to his stead, he made for the throne again and had it near. That's when the Empire came. Through a forebear truce which no one expected, again the prince was forced back to Stros Mackay, which he died defending. He will not long be forgotten. Lizard, another drink! What were the terms of the Forebear Truce? Originally, the Empire was to lend its armies to the Forebear cause in return for a swath of holding titles along the southeast border. But when Baron Volag disappeared during the arse end of the war, all bets were off. A new treaty was formed which garrisoned those Imperial armies in the cities. Until such a time as the native rulership can see fit to reinstate itself safely on its rightful throne. Something like that, yes sir. Septim's no Cyrodiil from what I've heard. Though he rules their remnants and rebuilds their empire. He's something worse or greater. Depending on your disposition to the center, son. If he has no blood tie to the Cyrodiil throne, then how did he make it his? Come on! For the last 400 years, the petty kings of Cyrodiil have been squabbling over the title of Emperor, all claiming forebearance. Imperial Throne's blood's thinner than a sea dream and half as wet. Tiber Septim took the throne as he took your peoples. Hail the new conqueror. There's a good little subject. You used to hire out to those petty kings, did you not? Twenty years ago, maybe when the whole heart of Tamriel was in chaos. I could admire Tiber Septim insofar that he has managed to consolidate the rags and tatters that bickered there then. No empire is a good thing, Captain. <laughs> There's a red guard for you. So the Nord Kings have submitted to Tiber Septim too. They do not worry over much. They have outlasted empires before, and this conquest will be no different. Hammerfell has been the bloodiest invasion of current record. And by comparison, Skyrim's occupation seemed like a ballet. Do you know if Azara fought in the Battle of Stros Mackay? My investigations were limited, I'll admit. If she fought, I can't say. But I would guess that she did. The battle was the penultra of the crowns, and all who subscribed to the name no doubt took up arms. While most of them were slain at sea, others have been taken prisoner by the governor. Tell me about the provisional governor, Captain. When I arrived, his soldiers showed me the finer points of Richton's new docking tracks, and scoured my ship for leaguesmen. I must say he's a bit of an asshole. You'd better watch yourself around him. 
So why aren't you in jail? Meaning why aren't said soldiers in little boxes at the foot of the palace gate? Because I didn't come to port to get myself in trouble, but to get your sister out. Should I look into seeing this governor then? That's what I'd look, laddie. Could she be in jail? I haven't exactly knocked on the door to find out. That's your job now. But I know the jail's off limits to non-imperials. Now, read no visitors whatsoever. We'll see about that. Imperial expansion has been feared for years. Why was it Hammerfell better prepared? Factional squabbles, divided councils, miscalculations. Crowns lost heart when they lost the capital. Forebears lost their heads completely when they welcomed the Empire's friendship and aid. So the Empire played the forebears pretty well, eh? What else is a visionary with an open invitation to do? The forebears are having futile second thoughts now, no doubt. Probably why they're so bitter and driven to bar brawls. What of the crowds? Not too many left around here. The few that are don't admit it to just anyone. Talk to Siona, a friend of mine. You may have seen her down by the docks. Tell her I sent you, so she'll know you're no Imperial stoolie. She may be able to help you. How have the forebears fared under Septim's rule? The throne of Sentinel is kept warm by another Imperial governor. That should be indication enough. How is the city of Sentinel? I never returned. For long my men plied the Iliac, and Sentinel was along the run. That's how I came to know that Izara moved from there to here. I kept up with her for your sake. If even it were a dream to think anything would come of it. When Volag's purge ignited through the north, I went there seeking to help her. But she was already gone. Later, I learned she'd come to Stross Mackay. What was Volag's purge? When Thassad died, Baron Volag led the forebears into an uprising for control of the capital. All crowns were forced to leave Sentinel after that first massacre. Your sister was among those that followed the prince here to Stross Mackay to plan the counterattack. I swear, Cyrus, are you always such a lame brain when it comes to word of recent Hammerfell? I've... I've come to cultivate a certain indifference about the homeland. And this is a good thing? So his character is in question. Again. She was your sister, Cyrus. I was probably miles away. A proximity often and on purpose, I'd suspect. Yeah, well, you're here now. Facade the Second, so storied in song, it was unwise to invest the Republic on one man. The food bears are over there, Cyrus, if you want the company to match the sentiment. No, it's just... I mean, he was dying when I was still a young kid. We Red Guards were only waiting for it to happen. My father kept his profession in one hand and a whetstone in the other. We knew that civil war would come. If Assad was so great, why didn't he do more in his life to protect the kingdom after his death? Some things uh, have to be left for the sun. The head of the forebears is a subject of the Empire now. Or subject to the Empire's execution from speak of it. He disappeared the day Stross Mackay was taken, and Sentinel lay in a similar state. Provisional governors rule both cities now. Captain, what do you know about the smugglers' den? Knaves that aren't worth my cargo. You should forget about them. I see. I'll be back. If you're not here, thanks for everything. Good luck. Just find your sister and get out of here. And send word through Sratra. Go on, you'll do fine. What will it be, traveler?
come down from there. What will it be, Traveler? Say, laddie. Barkeep well met. I'm Cyrus. I know. I had Tobias made out of fool to believe you'd come. Why? I'm the one that smuggled his letter out for him. The Empire's been watching all shipments from this port. I figured our chances were slim. Many thanks, then. Welcome to the Dragon Tail. By the way, thesis bound subsistence of mine. Where there is good ear and ale co equal. What can I do for you? A drink might be nice. I'll use your ears later, maybe. Ever ready to listen, soft skin? Let adventure thine be mine. I'll share what thoughts I can. What do you think of the Restless League? A human tribe of ill account, but whose single-mindedness is something I can fathom. Their raids upset my smuggling operations, and off thus my fair nature. Valenwood wine's hard to come by, you see, but over that I have nothing worse to say. You sympathize with the League, then? Oh, no. I merely noted their clannish drives, which any Argonian might admire. Being used, as we are, to honor the clan's interests about our own private affairs. How, then, does an Argonian manage to leave his tribe to wander Tamriel? You refer to me? I do not wander, Red God. This is a settled study for me, from which I'll add to the wealth of wisdoms when I return to my clan. I myself was a victim of these raids. More obstacle, I'd suspect, than victim. The raids had ended, it seemed, but your mischance may be token of renewed troubles the sailors speak of. Hmm? The League is marshalling anew its forces, or so the rumor goes. Some second battle of Stros Mackay? True, it sounds unlikely, but they are dagger lads, the Restless League, and they vow to make war again. How have the denizens of Black Marsh resisted the Empire so long? A thousand miles of swamp, bog, and stink aren't attractive to most humans. And terror of the Kanatan flu still holds most at bay. But our days of testing will come. What's your subject of study? The other, of course. Those ones not skinned in scale. We see that Septine's tribes will not be long satisfied with the thrones of men and the Elder Race. One day they will come to Black Marsh. Argonians have lost land once before, when we did not know our enemy. I see, and what better place to learn the wants of men than at the bar? There are other places. Universities, the military, the magical guild, but I aim to chart man's geography of desire, which is most readily charted when he is drunk and blathering. <laughs> what can you tell me about Azara? The Imperials came, and I let her out through the window. I haven't seen her since. The occupation, it seems, is taking long to consolidate. With the League about and the Imperial still hunting for wayward crowns. Hammerfeld's the defiant line of the human lay still. 
They say some still fight the Empire on the mainland. Is thus the Empire delayed in further expansion? The whole wild world, the elf kingdoms, and the beast lands waits to see what finally happens here in the last land of men. A word of advice. Beware the dragon tribe of the Emperor. The warrior king, Tiger Septim, does not tolerate rebellion. And Governor Richton has promised summary execution to any who take arms to oppose his rule. Wouldn't dream of it, unless he's responsible for my sister's disappearance. Even if he were responsible, perhaps it would be wise to proceed cautiously. Cautiously, eh? If only I knew how to do that. You said the Imperials came here looking for Azara the last night you saw her. Not specifically for Azara. The Imperials had a list of dissidents they sought. Her name was there with names of many other crowns. Since that time, I see only forebears here. The forebears seem to enjoy your place. The Imperial Liquor Tax has forced me to serve everyone, even the city's ancestral villains. Tell me about the crowns. Their fire is gone since the prince was lost. Few show their faces in Strasmichai. Some have passed to the mainland, some few plot and scheme still, nursing fading dreams. Is this your first visit to Strasmachai, sire? Aye, but the occupation makes it seem less so. With the Imperial standards aloft at port, it seems like any other vassal town of Cyrodiil. But for the unrest of like blood? The only blood I care about is my sister's. As far as I'm concerned, new kingless Hammerfell has gone its way. Your apathy is decidedly... reptilian. I don't know how to take that coming from you. What are you talking about? This tavern, of course, both site and subsidy of my studies, as well as a fine storehouse of spirit. Hey, Drinkius, I got this delivery job that'll get me into the palace for sure. What are you going to deliver? Some amulet met for the governor. Do you have it yet? Not yet. I've got to get it at the Necromancer's Isle. Don't forget to bring some gold to pay the boatman, Cyrus. And be careful. Thanks, Drakius. I will. Drakius, you mentioned taking part in some smuggling operations. Minor stuff is all, and mostly nil now that the governor's men are keeping such tabs on me. What can you tell me about the smugglers, then? It's run by some upright from the north, a quit-to-anger sort, and he only talks to members of the den. Hmm. I'd better keep moving. Can we talk later? Anytime, anytime. Hmm.
Hello, brother. I'm Cyrus, recent to this shore. Brother Niddle, good son. Welcome to the Temple of Arcane. Until later, Brother Niddle. Goodbye, my son. <laughs>